Okay, now here in example uh, 4C, we got 50H squared, excuse me, 50H to the fourth minus 2H squared. 50H to the fourth minus 2H squared. So we're going to factor out our common factor. And our common factor between 50 and 2 is 2. The common factor between h to the fourth and h squared is h squared. All right. And uh, after factoring out, we end up with 25 h squared minus 1. So once again, 50 divided by 2 is 25. h to the fourth divided by h squared, you're left with h to the second. And then um, 2h to the second divided by 2h to the second is 1. So now you're left with the difference of two squares. 25 is a perfect square, h squared is a perfect square, and 1 is a perfect square. So now we follow our pattern for a perfect square. So we end up with the square root of 25 being 5, the square root of h squared being h, the square root of 1 being 1. So we got 5h minus 1, and we already know we got to have a negative version and a positive version of the same thing. So in other words, if you multiply this back out using the fall method, you should come out with 25h squared minus 1. Um, example 5, solve a polynomial equation. This is basically a repeat of what we've done in the past. It's just that now it's all culminating here in this one problem. So we got 3x cubed plus 18x squared is equal to a negative 24x. We write the original equation. We add 24 to both sides. We should know how to do that by now. Plus 24 plus 24 to both sides. So we end up with 3x cubed plus 18x squared plus 24x. We factor out the greatest common factor. So between 3x cubed plus 18x squared plus 24x, the greatest common factor is going to be 3. And amongst the variables, it's going to be x. x is our lowest variable. So now we're going to factor that out. And when we do that, we end up with 3x cubed divided by 3x. We're left with just x squared. 3 divided by 3 is 1. x to the third divided by x would give us x squared. Then we got 18x squared divided by 3x. 18 divided by 3 is 6. x squared divided by x is x. So we got 6x. And then we got 24x divided by 3x. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And x divided by x is 1. So now we got x squared plus 6x plus 8. So now we're going to factor this trinomial. This should be pretty quick. Remember now, you can use the box method here if you want, but by now you should begin to recognize the patterns by heart. So here we go. We got 8. Now in what way can I get 8 through multiplication? but it gives me 6 through addition. Well, that's going to be 4 and 2. 4 and 2. So I end up with x plus 2 times x plus 4. So I have 3x times x plus 2 times x plus 4, and that's equal to 0. So now we're going to use our zero product property. So we set each part equal to 0. So 3x is equal to 0 x plus 2 is equal to 0, and we have x plus 4 is equal to 0. So when 3x is equal to 0, we end up with x is um, equal to 0 because we divide both sides by 3, and 0 divided by 3 is equal to 0. x plus 2 equals 0, we, we will end up with a negative 2, minus 2 on this side, minus 2 on that side. And then x plus 4 is equal to 0, we will end up with x is equal to a negative 4. Once again, minus 4 on this side, minus 4 on that side. So in each one of these, we solve the one-step step equation. So the solutions of the equations are 0, negative 2, and negative 4. Example 6, solve a multi-step problem. Terrarium. A terrarium in the shape of a rectangular prism has a volume of 4,608 cubic inches. Its length is more than 10 inches. The dimensions of the terrarium are shown. Find the length, width, and height of the terrarium. Step 1. Write a verbal model, then write an equation. 
volume in cubic inches was 4,608. The length is 36 minus W. All right, we can see right there in the diagram, that's the length. The width, they say, is W. So that's the width right there. And the height, they say, is W plus 4. So that's the height right there, W plus 4. So once again, height, W plus 4. Width is W. And the length is 36 minus W. Okay, now right here is the original equation when you write it out. You got 4,608 is equal to parentheses 36 minus W times W in parentheses times W plus 4. So you got to multiply all three of these together. And you do this by taking them two at a time. Now here they're skipping a whole bunch of steps. So I'm going to break it down for you over here. So I got 4,608 is equal to 36 minus W times W times W plus 8. So first, I'm going to take these two together, the W and the 36 minus W. All right, now W times 36 is 36W. W times a negative W is a negative W squared. So then I bring down the W plus 4. Now I'm going to multiply these two binomials. So now I got W times 36. That's going to give me 36W squared. Excuse me, W times 36w, that's going to give me 36w squared. Then I have w times a negative w squared. That's going to give me a negative w cubed, or a negative w to the third power. Now I take this 4, and I do the same thing. 4 times 36w, it's going to give me 144w. I did the math over here for you. Once again, 4 times 36w, it's going to give me 144W. Right, we'll highlight that. So I'm going from here to right there. Then I'm going from there to right there. So once again, 4 times 36W is 144W. And then 4 times a negative W squared is a negative 4W squared. So now I have all my terms in a row. So now I'm going to look to combine like terms. So I see I can take the 36W squared and subtract 4W squared. That's going to give me 32W squared. And then the minus W to the third power, it comes down. The 144, it comes down. So right now I'm looking at 4,608 is equal to 32w squared minus w cubed plus 144w. But I'm solving an equation, so therefore I got to get rid of this 4,608 and set that equal to zero. So I'm going to say minus on this side, minus on that side. Of course, this is going to cancel out, and I'm left with just zero. There's nothing to add this to on this side, so I'm just going to represent it by rewriting the whole thing again. But we'll put everything in order. So I got a negative w cubed plus 32w squared plus 144w minus 4,608. All right, and then from there, I'm going to group. So I'm going to put these two together. And I'm going to put these two together. All right, and that's going to put us at this line right here. All right, so we broke all this down for you. See how they did it like on a couple steps? But when you don't understand or you're not sure, it takes more steps to explain it to you. All right, so uh, right now we're right here at this line right here. Okay, now that we've grouped the terms together, now we're going to factor each group. So we got a negative W cubed plus 32W squared. Well, what's the greatest common factor? It's going to be... Um, a negative w squared. Once again, they fracture out a negative. So, w cubed divided by w squared is going to leave me with w. 32 uh, w squared divided by w squared is going to leave me with just 32. We get here, we got 144w minus 4608. What's the greatest common factor? 
144. 144 W divided by 144, you're left with just W. 4,608 divided by 144 is 32. So we're going to factor each group. So what's our greatest binomial factor? W minus 32 and W minus 32. That's what they both have in common. So we should know the trick to this by now. So when I take this and I factor out the W minus 32, that's like dividing by W minus 32. So W minus 32 divided by W minus 32, we're just left with a negative W squared. And then 144 times W minus 32 divided by W minus 32. That means this cancels and this cancels. You're left with 144. Okay, now I don't want this negative W squared to be negative. So I'm going to factor out a negative from this term right here. So I take my negative sign, I put it way at the beginning, remembering not to touch the W minus 32 because that's not where I want it to, where I want the negative sign to disappear from. I want it to disappear from right here. So that means only this term would be affected. So the negative is on the outside. And now that negative W to the second power is now W, a positive W to the second power. And a positive 144 is now a negative 144. Now I notice I have a difference of two squares. Perfect square, perfect square. So I bring down my negative 1. I bring down a W minus 32. And following the perfect square pattern, I take the square root of W squared, that's W. The square root of 144, that's going to be 12. So I got W, I bring my minus sign down, 12. And then I got to have a negative version and a positive version. So currently then I have that negative 1 times W minus 32 times W minus 12 times W plus 12 is equal to 0. So I set everything equal to 0. W minus 32 is equal to 0. I got W minus 12 is equal to 0. And I got W plus 12 is equal to 0. Step 3. Choose the solution of the equation that is the correct value of W. Disregard w is equal to negative 12 because the width cannot be negative. You know that the length is more than 10 inches. Test the solutions 12 and 32 in the expression for the length. So the length is equal to 36 minus 12 or 24. That one checks. Or the length is 36 minus 32, which is 4. That does not check. The solution 12 gives a length of 24 inches, so 12 is the correct value of W. Okay, now in step 4, let's find the height. The height is equal to W plus 4, which is equal to 12 plus 4, which is 16. So the width is 12 inches, the length is 24 inches, and the height is 16 inches. All right, with that, we may get started with our exercises. All right, now, if you're wondering why there's a negative W squared here, it's because when you factor from here to here, you will end up with the opposite of this. All right, so let me show you. You got a negative W cubed plus 32W squared. That's that term right there. Now, if I factor it out like normal, I will look at the negative W cubed and the positive 32W and ask myself, what's the greatest common factor? And the greatest common factor would be W squared. Now, when I factor the W squared, I would end up with a negative W plus 32. But notice over here is W minus 32. All right, so now I got to make this equal to the W minus 32. So how do I do that? All right, now when I factor out, once again, W cubed, divided by w squared is going to give me a negative w plus 32. All right. So I must factor out that negative. So I'm going to take that negative, put it on the outside, and everything changes to its opposite. So a negative w becomes a positive w, and a positive 32 becomes a negative 32. So now this is matching that.